Well, hi there. Theo the Woodturner here for Record Power. Welcome to my workshop. Today's project, I've got a mahogany chopstick here and I'm going to make a little micro goblet for you. And to help me out in this uh, project, I'm going to employ the Coronet Herald and also the latest in Record Power chucks. It's called the SC1. It's about two inches in diameter. Um, beautiful little chuck and I've got the new dome jaws which are fantastic for this sort of project. Here's a close-up and you can see the inside of the jaws don't come to a point. They're actually rounded so they don't mark your work. Perfect for holding round and square. And if I drop this in It's beautifully held. I'm just going to now round that down, true it up as they say. I'll just give you an overhead shot as well. And I'm going to use my 3 8 inch spindle gouge, whoop, face shield. Pretty important. So I'm trying to take a slicing cut Nearly round. And it's round now. So this is going to be a tiny goblet. And guess what? I'll stop the lathe and wait until the lathe stops before I move the tool rest. I'll now bring the tool rest perpendicular so that I can hollow out the goblet. I'm going to use a quarter inch spindle gouge which is sharpened to 25 degrees. So you go down, in, down and up to get rid of that little nub in the middle and then work the left hand side that's towards me and before you know it again we stop the lathe and we wait until the wood and the chuck stop turning And I'm now ready to shape the goblet. Again, using the one quarter inch, I want a, a, a tulip, tulip shape. It's a quarter inch spindle gouge. And to shape the stem, I don't want the stem too long. I want it to be balanced. That's about it there. Cutting downhill. And I want to just make the stem, the tall, as the stem goes up, it gets thinner. The whole idea with miniatures is to try and get them in as 
proportionate as you can to the real thing. A little bit thinner. One last cut. You see, I'm never afraid to take an air swing where you go to cut and you miss. Um, you don't pick up anything. You're better off doing that than taking a cut that's too deep. Actually, I never take it a last cut. Something about the word last that makes the tool start to shake in your hand. You're better off just taking penultimate cuts. There we have it. Now to part the the work off, I start further back, and you notice where my thumb is? The dome chuck is just a beautiful shape to be able to get in there. If this was in a larger chuck, you just wouldn't have a chance. So, just going to go a little bit thinner, undercut it slightly, but before I keep going, I need to do a little bit of sanding. Wait till the work stops turning then move the tool rest. I'm going to start sanding with 400 grit. And now for some triple E, which is a, uh, it's a compound, um, it's a burnishing compound. And I'll slow the lathe down, just a little on my finger, don't need a lot. And this will take it up from, to about a thousand grit by the time I'm finished. So I finished sanding with 600, I'll just, Bring up the speed now to 1800. Isn't mahogany beautiful? And I'll bring up the speed even more, so I'm up to two and a half thousand. The great thing about Triple E is it's food safe. So if you're making a goblet, yeah, you must use food safe oil. So let's have a look. Wait till the lay stops. And <clears throat> now for the parting off. I brought the tool rest back. It's about now, if you've got a dust extractor on, you should turn it off. <laughs> so it's important to have your finger touching the tool rest uh, and the tool caught um, between your finger and the tool rest. And I've also got the tool tucked in my elbow and that's the position. 
and I'm undercutting this so it sits on the outside rim I'll just see if I can hold it like this so you can see it and there it is that's our little project for today a little wine goblet just for a drop or two well I hope you enjoyed watching me make this little goblet there might have been some learning in it for you and uh, hopefully you can have a crack at it yourself thanks again to record power for inviting me to show you what i do and until next time stay safe <music>